Well, welcome back everybody. My name's Andrew and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. And today is a very exciting episode. Something we've been waiting for for months. And that is, we are going to put our countertops in today. The company is scheduled to show up in just a little bit and uh, get these installed. They sent a guy out about last week, about a week ago, yeah, who set up a little 3D device right here. It wasn't nothing fancy about it. It's a laser measuring device. It put the calculations into a little tablet that he had, and then they took that back to the shop and have cut our countertop. So I'm excited. I'm doing one last little walkthrough, getting everything prepped and ready for them, and I found one little bump up in the wood right there. So I think I'm gonna sand that down real quick, just eyeballing everything else, making sure nothing is in their way. And uh, we're gonna get some countertops installed. All right, so I wanted to show you all this little device if you can actually hear me, but that is a vacuum pump. And this is a seal or a seam in the counter. So these are suction cups that go on either side of the seam. The vacuum pump pulls them down, and then you have hand adjustments here, which actually pull the counter together. And that's after they mix up an epoxy with dye coloring, so the seam kind of blends and just goes away. They do the best they can 
to color it. And if you've seen on the outside, he was taking the saw and actually cutting down into the edge of both of these slabs. That's so whenever he puts that epoxy in there, it actually mushes out into each of them, really locking them together. Almost kind of how you do biscuit joinery in wood. But I thought this was a really neat device. It's also got adjustments here to adjust the slabs up and down like this to work that seam perfectly. So quite neat. So here's some of that epoxy they mix up and then dye it the, the proper color. If you can look down in here on the edge of both these slabs, that's that groove that they cut into it out there on the porch to wedge that epoxy up into. Really good idea. Makes a very strong bond and joint. All right, so they're complete. She's about to come inside and look at it for the first time. All right, I hope you like it because they're stuck with it now. I do like it a lot. Good. I was worried you might not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it. No, I do like it. I love it. Do you think your bar top is big enough? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Or a peninsula, I should call it. I guess peninsula. A, I guess a true bar top would be a step down. <laughs> no, I do like it. Did they seal it too? Yes, it's okay. already sealed. He just gave me all the do's and don'ts, which we'll go over. Good. And, it's uh, very pretty in here. Yes, what do you it, think about it? I like it. And I think it's going to match the flooring great. That's something else that uh, we were, it's the whole reason we went with a color like this. It has so much going on because it matches ceiling, wood. Let's grab a piece of flooring. And, yep, and here is some of our flooring. It ain't going to have a problem matching that with all the creams and everything else. So we'll put that down there, take a look. Oh yeah, perfect. Good deal. I think this is going to work. Very pretty. So here is our sink. Mm -hmm. Hole that they drilled that I missed. <laughs> they just did it with an angle grinder without attachment. Now we just decided to go with a typical forge backsplash. Down the road we can always take that out and do tile, but we're just not planning on tiling right now. And here is those seams that I was showing y'all earlier. I mean, you can just about barely see it. The only way you can even tell there's a seam is because sometimes colors are going this way and some are going this way. Mm -hmm. But uh, it looks really good. It does look really good. This seam over here is just about, you see some just barely difference in coloration there, but you gotta look for it. Did a really good job on the seams. And then this is what I'm gonna call our cure egg coffee area. <laughs> Maybe it'll go there. Got an outlet for the coffee pot just in case. <clears throat> it looks like they lined it up really good for the stove. Yep, I've, I've got an extremely tight fit for the stove here. Just like I did the refrigerator, I do not like gaps. And I was so concerned that the countertop was gonna have some overhang and not allow the stove to go in, but it looks like they got it absolutely perfect. So we went with just a quarter round right here and uh, what's well, almost like a one inch round here. And you can see we have large enough overhangs here. We're gonna do some bar stools here and there. I think we can fit five or six. And this is pretty much just gonna be our main seating area for the house. Obviously, I think that's plenty of room for Tiffany to put pots and pans and crock pots and whatever you want. You've got more counter stop space than I think you're gonna well, know what to do with. Considering our last house, I'm kind of happy with yeah. having more. So, hey, what do you think? <laughs> He's like, where's the food? Yeah. <laughs> looks good. Looks good. It's gonna match all our black and. Yes, that's the other thing. Black. So we picked this too because all the black in it we love. Which, hey, we got this black theme going on. We're gonna have black doorknobs and black. Uh, you know, cabinetry knobs and handles as well. Plus, you've got all the black glazing going on in the cabinet. So, I don't know, it just seemed like the right fit. So yeah, this is kind of your standard basic granite. When I think of granite, I think of this and a few other brown colors. There's nothing super fancy about it, but uh, I think it's the right choice. It just, it just matches everything. 
We're just glad we settled on something. <laughs> we were so back and forth. This is the look we kind of knew we always wanted and trying to find man-made stuff. Oh, it just, it did not work out at all. We couldn't find anything anywhere near this that uh, kind of gave us that granite look. So ultimately we decided on that. And the good news for us is granite's now one of the cheaper options out there, yeah. whereas it used to be one of the most expensive. Mm -hmm. So it's weird how that's worked out. All right, so I want to give a big shout out to Master Granite in Tallahassee. By the way, I got zero discount. They don't even know that I'm pushing this on YouTube. I just thought it was an excellent experience. We have went all over the big capital city here from the big box stores to the little guys trying to find what we wanted. First of all, their salesman or sales lady, I should say, Sandra, was extremely nice, um, very helpful from day one. We Found a slab we, we thought we liked there. Went and looked at a bunch of other places. Long story short, wound up calling back, paying them on a Monday. I think it was Thursday. They already had somebody out measuring up everything. And then this is the following week. So such a short turnaround. It's cut and it's installed. The price was actually very reasonable compared to the big box stores, everybody else. Actually, it was pretty much identical. And the, uh, the customer service here with the guys installing, perfect and I'm extremely happy with the install. So I'll put their information down in the description. Again, I'm getting nothing for that. I just believe if you get good work, you need to recommend them, and I'm very happy with the service. Hopefully I enjoyed this little short video of the uh, install. Appreciate them letting me kind of check out the way that this stuff goes in. We'll catch y'all in the next video.